We gather in the presence of God to give thanks for the gift of marriage today, to witness the joining together of Kai and Hannah, to surround them with our prayers, and to ask God's blessing upon them so that they may be strengthened in their life together and nurtured in their love for God. God created us male and female and gave us marriage so that husband and wife may help and comfort each other, living faithfully together in plenty and in want, in joy and in sorrow, in sickness and in health throughout their days. God gave us marriage for the full expression of the love between a man and a woman. In a marriage, a woman and a man <clears throat> belong to each other and with affection and tenderness freely give themselves to each other. God gave us marriage for the well-being of human society, for the ordering of family life, and for the birth and nurture of children. God gave us marriage as a holy mystery in which the man and woman are joined together and become one, just as Christ is one with the church. gift, God has blessed not only you, but every person you come in contact with. I'm sorry. <laughs> you have the purest, most genuine heart, and because of that, I have several pure, genuine promises that I wanted to make to you. Hannah, I promise to devote my mind, body, and soul to you. I promise to provide for you and protect you, to laugh with you and love you. I promise to support you through both your successes and failures and share with you every part of my life. I promise to be a source of stability and guidance and never hinder your aspirations. I promise to be honest, fair, and faithful to you. Hannah, before our friends, family, and Heavenly Father, I promise to commit myself to you alone for the rest of my days. I can't wait to see what God has in store for us in the next chapter of our lives. that God has gifted us with. Because of your strength and kindness, I'm looking towards our future not with worry or hesitation, but with clarity and assuredness. You're the best person I know and we balance each other perfectly. You make me feel safe, capable, and so loved. You kill every spider I scream about. You accept my ever-growing pile of Target teaching supplies. And you always get me fries when I'm craving them. Kyan, you're my best friend and my soulmate and you are going to be an even better husband and someday father. I cannot wait to be your wife, and with that new title, I have a few promises I want to make to you. First, I vow to listen to your political banter and try to keep up. Second, I promise to direct you when you drive so we don't have to get lost. Third, I vow to appreciate all of your old man tendencies and habits. I promise to be the dreamer to your realist and keep your life spicy. Fifth, I vow to always be up for a McDonald's run. And more seriously, I promise to stand by you always in times of hardship. I vow to be honest and faithful and true to you. I promise to learn from you and help you grow. I vow to support you and your hopes. I promise to be a woman of Christ and put God at the center of our relationship always. Kind Michael, you are my first love and you will undoubtedly be my last. I cannot wait to experience all of life's journeys with you.